Welcome to Survivor Season 4 Marquesas. 16 castaways, 39 days, 1 Survivor. Come on in, guys. So we are going to divide you guys into two tribes. But we're doing it a way we've never done it before. We're picking tribes. We'll have two team captains, which will be the two oldest members. Which in this case are Wu and Amy. Take your mats. We have Amy on the yellow mat and Wu on the red mat. Amy picks first. Amy must pick a man. Um, I'll pick the guy in the overalls. Wu, you're up next. You must pick a female. I'll take the girl in all red. Amy, you're up. You gotta pick a girl. I'll take, um, the girl in the gray shirt. Woo now. I'll take the muscly dude in the way back. Now, Amy, take a man. I'll take, um, I'll take guy in plaid. Wu has to pick a woman. I'll take the girl in the orange shirt. Amy must pick a woman. I'll take uh, the girl in the police officer uniform. Wu now must pick a man. I'll take uh, the muscly dude on the end. Amy now must pick a man. I'll take the dude in the white shirt. Wu now must pick a girl. I'll take uh, the girl with the blonde hair. Amy now must pick a woman. I'll take uh, the girl with the M on her shirt. Uh, Wu must take a man. I'll take the dude in red. And Amy, you get Shondo. And Wu, you get Sabrina. These will be the tribes. Take these maps, head to your camps. I'll see you at the immunity challenge. Dude. I have no clue what Amy was doing. I mean, Wu's over there sitting on his map, picking all these dudes that are jacked and look athletic as hell. And Amy's just, like, picking people that she th thinks she'll get along with. Like, their tribe is so much stronger than ours. We're going to get killed in so many challenges. Not going to lie, I'm a little pissed off. How could I be the second-to-last pick? Dude, I'm one of the most athletic people out here. I could freaking be here for double 39 days, man. I'm a freaking... I I don't know. I'm pissed off. Don't like my tribe. And I should be on the other tribe. They're way more athletic. Okay, guys. Let's start building a shelter. We really... We really need to get camp life in full swing. I am so excited to be on Survivor, and even more pumped that I got to pick my own tribe. And I feel like I chose a great, honest-looking group of people, and we can play this game together honestly and not backstab each other. And I am very excited. We need to start building a majority alliance within this tribe. And I think it should be the five of us right here. Yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah. So my first goal was to try to get uh, a majority alliance, and hopefully I found good people for that that I can trust, and I'm ready to play this game. I'm, I'm stoked. So, uh, I've been invited into the majority alliance, but I gotta keep my options open, because I don't know what's going on in this game, and I, I gotta keep myself a little closed off to other people. I can't be trusting everyone like I be doing at home. I feel like I've definitely picked the stronger tribe, and I'm really excited to start doing some of these challenges, because I think we're going to kick some butt. I'm really pumped. I mean, as a professional coach, I feel like I can really help this team win challenges. I mean, there's that one dude, though, the shirtless dude with the necklace. His name's Ethan, I think. Uh, he looks like he could be my star player, but maybe a star player that doesn't listen to the coach. Dude. Dude in the all red, 
uh, Mark, I think. Dude, he just pisses me off. His face is just so punchable, man. I don't know what it is. I just want to beat the crap out of him, you know? Bro, and I have no clue why. Um, let's go around and do introductions of who everyone is. You start. Hi, I'm Vanessa. Um, I'm a professional cheerleader for the Miami Dolphins. I'm Andrew. Uh, I'm a college student. If I got one weakness in this game, it's definitely the ladies. Definitely pretty girls. And Vanessa, she's a pretty girl. And I cannot let that distract me from the million dollars. I mean, Andrew, he's really cute. And if I was not in the game, I'd probably date him. But out here, I'd, uh, I'd probably date him still. He's, he's really cute. Come on in, guys. Welcome to your first immunity challenge. In this challenge, you will have two callers tell blindfolded people to get these bricks for a puzzle, and then this will be covered, and you must put the puzzle back together in the right way. First tribe to finish wins immunity, safe tonight at Tribal Council, and receives Flint. Loser, Tribal Council with me, where someone will be the first person voted out of this game. All right, I'll give you a minute to strategize. I think Cindy should be the caller. No, no, I can do it. I'm the coach. I'm a coach. All right, Shapira has chosen Mark as their caller. Vanessa, Ethan, Sabrina, Andrew, and Wu as the block getters. Mary and Cindy as the puzzle solvers. Maramu has chosen Leia as the caller. Izzy, Bo, Sarah, Shondo, and Dan as the block getters. And Amy and Tim as the puzzle solvers. All right, let's get on the blindfolds. Survivors ready? Go! Andrew, go a little bit in front of you. Turn to your left a little bit. There, you got it. Now just turn around and take it all the way to the end. Just keep going straight. Andrew is good. He got the first block for Chapira Tribe already. He can now sit out. Bo, turn around and reach down and pick up that block. Nice, Bo. Now take it all the way. Bo, bring the Maramu's first block to their mat. Ethan, pick that block up right in front of you. Bo's got the first block for Maramu tribe. Woo, go to your left, go to your left. What? I, I can't hear you. I said go left. I can't hear you. Dan, right in front of you, right in front of you. Yes, yes, that's one of them, that's one of them. Pick it up and bring it to the mat. Ethan, take that block to the end. Okay, okay. Ethan gets the second block for Chapira Tribe. Dan with the second block for Maramu Tribe. Vanessa, there's one right in front of you. Pick it up and bring it to the mat. Sarah, you got one right in front of you. Sabrina, Sabrina, right in front of you. Sarah's got the third block from Aramo Tribe, they now take the lead. Vanessa and Sabrina back with the third and fourth block, putting Shapira back in the lead. Woo, you're going the wrong way! I can't hear you! Izzy, what are you doing? Get out on the field. Shonda, right in front of you, pick that up. Now turn and go straight. Woo, turn around! Speak louder! Shondo has the fourth block from Maramu Tribe is now tied up. Both tribes have one block left. Izzy, listen to me. Turn 180, turn 90 degrees, and go straight. Woo, woo, watch your step. You're gonna trip over the block. Oh, that really hurts. Izzy, right in front of you. Pick it up. Both tribes have their last block and are now racing to see who can get to theirs first. Izzy's there. Maramu, you're good. You can start working on the puzzle. Woo's there. Shapira, you're good. You can start working on the puzzle. We are now going to remove the example. Both tribes now working on their puzzles. It's the same pattern. I can do this. Yellow on the bottom. Blue. Red. Yellow. Blue. Are you sure? I, I don't think that's right. 
there was definitely yellow on the bottom, and there was red in the middle, and I don't know what the rest was. No, come on, I'm telling you, yellow's definitely on the bottom. Are you sure? Are you sure? I think it's blue next. Okay, okay. Shapira Tribe thinks they've got something going. And Maramu Tribe having a little bit of arguments. We know red is in the middle. Amy, I'm telling you, it's yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue. I don't, I'm not sh completely sure. I think yellow, maybe? Or is it blue? I'm not sure. Just let me do it, Amy. Let's try yellow. Let's try yellow. The red one was not in the middle. Yes, it was, Amy. One more piece left. Amy, I'm telling you, red was in the middle. Jeff, we think we got it. And Shapira wins immunity. Safe tonight at Tribal Council. Muramu Tribe, you will have to vote the first person out of this game. Head back to camp. I feel like that one was definitely on me. I mean, I'm the coach of the team, and I was the, the caller. They wouldn't have won without me. It's pretty good to know that my tribe needs me. It just sucks because I literally knew the puzzle, and Amy gave me so much backlash trying to do what she wanted to do. And we need to keep the tribe strong, so it's got to be Izzy or Amy tonight. I mean, there's pros and cons to both of them. I mean... Amy, she's a nice old woman, but she's obviously not physically fit, and she's not good at puzzles, so she's not good mentally. I mean, I know I'm not a f physically fit either, but I can do puzzles, and I can bring that to the table. And with Izzy, I mean, she's not particularly athletic. She's also, I think she's pretty naive. She's not the brightest, and I feel like one of them's got to go. And Amy already put us in a hole with this tribe that she drafted. So who's the vote tonight? I mean, it's gotta be it's gotta be Izzy or Amy. I mean, I like both of them, but I don't think Survivor's made for them. Come on, Shonda, you have to save me. I mean, I'm giving 100. percent It shouldn't be me tonight. I don't know. I think it should be. I think you're the weakest link. So I was just talking to Shonda to try to figure out who he thought the weakest link was. And for him to try to save me. And he just straight up tells me he wants to vote me out. Like, who does that? That's not how you play Survivor. What a jerk. I mean, um, Shondo seems pretty much set on voting Izzy. And when he said that around other people, they all seem to agree. So, I don't think it's me tonight. I mean, I'm basically the leader of this tribe. So, you don't want to vote out your leader. But we'll see. Anything can happen. I'm just excited to have even been here for three days. And I'm ready for tribal. Okay guys, welcome to your first tribal council. In this game, fire represents your life. If your fire goes out, so do you. All right. Dan, how do you feel about losing the first immunity challenge? It sucks, but I still uh, feel confident. It's just one loss. Can't let it get the best of us. We gotta push forward and uh, keep working hard. All right, Sarah, how has the first couple of days gone? I mean, we've gotten along really well on um, these first three days, but I mean, there's always uh, the physical aspect, and I think after tonight's tribal council, we'll be stronger as a tribe, and that's what we need, and hopefully it'll push us forward to win our first challenge. All right, so it seems like you guys will be voting for who you think is the the weakest member of the tribe. We'll see how it pans out. Let's vote. Tim, you're up first. I think you're the weakest link. All right, I'll go tally the votes. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and like to play it, now would be the time to do so. All right. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Izzy. Second vote, Shondo. One vote, Izzy. One vote, Shondo. 
third vote. Amy. One vote Amy, one vote Shondo, one vote Izzy. Fourth vote. Amy. Two votes Amy, one vote Izzy, one vote Shondo. Fifth vote, Amy. Three votes Amy, one vote Izzy, one vote Shondo. Sixth vote. The first person voted out of Survivor Marquesas. Amy. Amy, bring me your torch. Amy, the tribe has spoken. Grab your stuff. Time for you to go. Even though I was the first boot, I had fun for these three days. And I'm thankful I got to come on the show. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, Survivor.